Good hygiene is one of the most cost-effective ways to save lives. It can transform communities by stopping the spread of infectious disease. Yet globally, 3 in 10 people are at risk of infectious disease simply because they don't have soap and water to wash their hands at home. And 1 in 4 healthcare facilities are run without basic water services meaning the people who work there and use them face the same devastating risk. The COVID-19 pandemic has worsened existing inequalities. Women, who make up 70% of the global healthcare workforce, are the most affected. These must change now. This roadmap has three major pillars. The first one is to respond in the current COVID pandemic and hygiene related outbreaks. Second one is just to rebuild the hygiene service provision system. And also, the third and major one is to reimagine the fundamental shift in the hygiene behavior and attitude of the community and also to make hygiene a habitual for everyone. Governments must take urgent action by developing national hand hygiene plans that prioritize the most vulnerable. Everyone everywhere has a right to wash their hands with soap and water. Yet, hand hygiene remain critically underfunded. Governments, donors and businesses must urgently increase financing to allow national plans to be fully implemented. Low-income countries are faced with a triple threat of health, economic and climate change crisis. Investing in hygiene is essential to help build resilience. আমাদের যখন নিরাপদ পানির ব্যবস্থা ছিল না তখন রোগীরা অনেক হ্যাম্পারে ছিল যেমন একটা ডায়রিয়া রোগী যদি আমরা খাবার সেলাইন দিতে চাইতাম আমাদের এখানকার পানিতে কিন্তু আয়রন আছে পানিটাও অতটা ভালো না ওদেরকে আমি আমরা বোতলের পানি কিনতে বলতাম এর ফলে আমরা আগের যে সিচুয়েশনটা ছিল তার চাইতে আমরা আরো বেটার পজিশনে রোগী স্টাফ সবাই একটা নিরাপদ পানি পাবে এটা তো সবার জন্যই ভালো Reducing the spread of infectious disease can help communities thrive. This means children can go to school. Women and girls are less burdened with looking after sick relatives. Mothers can give birth safely. And people can be more productive and better prepared for the future. The sofa is that we used to suffer when they, they are going to fetch water. They will climb bouncy with their baby. Some use balo, we barrow. Some use leg and trek. So before they come back, time have already passed. Now there is water. I always take my baits. Since I had my baby at her center. I'm a lucky person. The water is okay and no more softness. Universal access to hand washing is achievable, but only if plans are put into action and financed urgently. We must plan for the future by investing now.